Hey Frantic, what is that amazing vehicle that you are driving right there? Well, this is my ATV for the ATV challenge to go all the way from this airbase right here all the way over to that over there. This is the volcano. So our challenge is to drive from here all the way across there. There is actually some water over there and then up to the top of that mountain. Currently, this is our top speed. I don't think it should be. But it is. So, let's go ahead and try and sort out our top speed. Try and make sure this thing actually floats. And go from there. Okay, not gonna lie. I am actually gonna go ahead and do some modification that I didn't want to do. We're actually gonna shove uh, more cylinders into this. Three more cylinders. Um, it's not something that I was actually planning on doing. But it is something that we have now just done. So let's see how it handles it now. Obviously, uh, I don't want to add those because it adds weight. But it should run a lot better. Saying that, I don't know if it is. Ah, oh, no, it definitely is. This is definitely running a lot better. So, is that good? I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to go ahead and try and find a pretty steep cliff like that one over there. And I'm going to try and drive straight up it. I have a feeling the engine might give way and just stop. But, I don't know. Let's try. All right, team, are we ready to conquer this small little hill in our thingy-ma-bobby? Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on, we are going straight up this thing. How has it managed that? I actually have no idea how it's managed that, but it totally has. We need to find something steeper. All right, so I found steeper hills. How <laughs> However, I've been driving for quite a while now. Uh, let's see our temperatures. They are... I mean, the temperature of that is fine, so that's good. Let's go ahead and have a little look at our fuel tank and see how much fuel we've got left. You know what, actually? We start with a decent amount of fuel. I think with how efficient this engine is currently running, we could probably make it over there. It's just going to take a very, 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 very long time. Okay, the enemy has captured an island. No one cares. So let's see if we can get up this. This is steep. No way. <laughs> okay, right, we built something that could go up hills. That is perfect. What we need to do now is actually make sure it can float. Let's go find some water really quickly. I know we are going to sink, but we'll see what happens. Is that fish on the land? Can I go catch that? Hang on. Can I catch that? Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. He swam away on his side. That's fine. Right, okay. Come on. Continue it. Continuing, we got this. So I don't think this is going to float at all, but it is worth the attempt. So let's drive straight into this. Okay. And if the engine goes under the water, it is kaput anyway. Yep, it is kaput because the, uh, the air intake is actually underwater already. But let's drive in anyway and see if there is any sort of flotation. No. How am I going to solve that? I don't know. But maybe we don't actually have to. Um, oh, actually saying that, we probably do have to. Idea. I actually have an idea. So, we uh, deleted some medium batteries earlier. I think I need to find a way of adding more batteries to this. And I'm thinking, actually, we go with these guys. I've got an idea. We are going to, like, shove... Batteries down the sides to make sure we have enough batteries. I'm then going to power these at the front. We're going to have another microcontroller running so that we can actually power these at the front through a different microcontroller uh, to the one that's going to power this at the back. What that will allow us to do is actually drive using electricity on the front, uh, which is actually still controlling all of the tracks, or diesel. So we'll use the electricity when we're underwater, and then the diesel once we are out again. Now you might be thinking, you'll die! But no, I won't, because we are going to include some sort of diving kit, maybe. Okay, so, uh, batteries mounted all down the sides. This might actually impact its, I don't know, ability to climb up hills? <laughs> but it might be fine at the same time, so we're going to leave it as is. We're also going to implement our uh, electric motors to the front. Gearboxes would actually be very useful for this. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, add some pipes. Yep, yeah, this is going to be weird. I'm going to add a pipe straight out of here. 
I'm then going to add a pipe going backwards, and then from there, I'm going to add a gearbox right here onto the front, and that's going to go into a motor, which is going to be located right here. So instead of having two motors, we've got one straight through a gearbox, which is going to be 9 to 5, and that should, in theory, work. But now that I've done that, it's not actually going to work. Main reason? Because we actually need two motors so that the controller, the microcontroller, actually works. I can't fit any clutches in here. That's the issue. Okay, so instead of doing that then, let's go ahead and mount this up here. There we go. Two gearboxes it is. There we go. Straight back there through there. In fact, actually, let's make these white. And into a motor. Yes, this is very strange. However, it should work. It also doesn't look terrible. <laughs> it just looks really bad. <laughs> right, 9 to 5 on there, 9 to 5 on here. We are going to have to connect these guys together and to the electricity. There we go. And now what we need to do is get a new uh, microcontroller like this one. Shove it straight into somewhere. I, I need it in here somewhere. So there, sure, that works. And now we are going to connect the right motor to here. The left motor... Oh, actually... That's the wrong way around. It always is, every time I place it. W and S is actually gonna go to up and down, and A and D is gonna go to left and right. There we go. So we can actually not use them if we want to. Interesting. Right, I am actually more than happy with this, which is very, very stupid, but let's see if we can just run full electric really quickly. All right, everybody ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, full electric is actually probably better than diesel. Faster, I mean. And that is totally running. Okay, good. <laughs> good, this works. I'm happy. So once we're underwater, we can just drive along using this. Perfect. All right, so you might think, well, where are you actually going to put a diving suit? Well, right there underneath my seat seemed like a good idea. So we got our diving suit on. <laughs> That's it. I think we're actually ready for the challenge, even though this really does not look ready for any sort of challenge. And we are going incredibly slow. I know we could go faster with this engine, but it's fine. We got this. Okay, so I've decided to paint it, even though uh, I have painted it and it looks kind of ugly. Uh, oh my. Oh, I forgot the front, apparently. <laughs> look at that. That looks awful. Right, I've turned it from red into green, and I do think that looks a lot nicer. Although inside of here it's very dark, I do think this actually looks like it should work. So, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just check this really quickly, see if it can still go up that hill on the airfield, and go from there. Oh, there's a tsunami. Alright, so this right here is actually a combination of both electricity and also um, diesel power. So we could use this if ever we got stuck somewhere like, I don't know, coming out of the water, for example. It might be useful to use both of them. Uh, although I do need some dials somewhere that tell me <laughs> the fuel. I'm probably going to put it there, actually, for the fuel and over here for the battery. I also need a speedo. Although, actually, no. Why would I need a speedo? We're just going to be going slow anyway. Guys, we're going. Uh, I was going to use that bit and that bit for lights, but actually, uh, now that I think about it, we probably don't need lights. Let's just, uh, oh no, we probably do actually. Maybe one in the center would do though. Anyway, are we able to go up here? Easy peasy. Okay, are we likely to encounter anything worse than that? Probably, but for now, we don't care. So, let's go ahead and take this back to the workbench really quickly. We'll add those dials, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so let's go straight into here. Dial, yes. Shove this guy into there like this. On that side, it is going to be uh, fuel. Yep. On this side, it is going to be battery. And now we just need to attach them together. So battery is there. Uh, fuel is this tank right here. And that's it. We're good. That is beautiful. Nice. I'm really happy about this. So yeah, that is going to be the end of episode, I believe, three. We're going to move on to episode four in the next one, where we'll add some lights and stuff like this to that thing. To that, to this thing. Yep. And then we will actually try and do the actual mission on the fifth episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Uh, but for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.